everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Intuitive Edge. It's time to look at our month ahead for November. Let's see what the cards have in store, what we might be looking at. I'm gonna shuffle up and be right back and we'll get started. What might be coming up this month? Well, I'll give you some insights as to what I see coming up possibly. So what I see is something in the realm of television. Now, uh, I think that a television personality who is well known may be stepping down or changing roles. Now, this could be two different people, but what I'm sensing is somebody may be stepping down, maybe they're retiring, maybe they're quitting their job, stepping down, and at the same time, we may see somebody rising to new heights, but I see possibly leaving the airwaves on television, striking out into something new, and taking, I believe it's a he, taking his followers with him. So this could be two different people, or one person stepping down and stepping into a new role, or it could be two different people. So we'll have to see how that plays out, but look for some big changes in television that might surprise people. Okay. Okay, on another front, I'm also picking up some issues with regard to some governments that have been really heavy-handed lately. Uh, I think there's going to be some more restrictions coming down the pike on governments that are kind of going rogue. I'm thinking in terms of Australia and maybe some others where we've been seeing a lot of heavy-handed action behind the scenes. Um, I think there's going to be some of that continuing and it's going to cause a lot of grief and sadness among the constituents, among the populations of those areas where heavy handedness occurs. Although these governments seem like their power is immense and that they're gaining strength, the truth is that there is some sort of crumbling starting to happen under the surface and that the power and control that is being exerted by these governments is actually starting to crumble, but uh, that is not being seen and felt yet, but it is starting to happen. It's like the crack has started and it's only going to get wider until things fall apart, but, uh, but for right now, it's not gonna appear that way. And there is, unfortunately, I'm seeing a little more um, crackdown and kind of pain and suffering as a result of this governmental overreach. Okay, it could be for the United States too. Um, things are probably starting to crumble in some regards there too with the leadership, but look for rogue, oppressive governments to continue in that vein, but there is the beginnings of the end for that type of overreach. Things are gonna be changing in November is what I'm getting. I'm getting a lot of change ahead. And what will be changing is, I've got the Nine of Cups on that, which is the wish card being, your wish being granted. And I also got the chariot on that when I was looking at the cards a little bit ago. I was shuffling up, just getting a sense of the month also, which is a card of movement, things happening. There is reason to be hopeful and reason to have joy. And that is perhaps the lesson that we're looking at this month is how to stay positive how to incorporate gratitude and not play into the scenario of doom and gloom. Because there is going to be things happening that, that will confirm that for people that look for doom and gloom. There's going to be plenty of that, okay? But there's also room for joy and happiness and seeing a brighter future. We have the sun coming out to tell us that things 
are changing, but there is a brighter future ahead. And this is under the lesson. The lesson is to not lose hope, to understand that the sun is always shining and the sun brings promise of a brighter tomorrow. And it, our focus is everything this month. That's really key. And I found this little prayer on one of my angel oracle decks and it says, please help me stay strong and relaxed as I approach this, I'm going to say this month, the month of November. Remind me to detach, to step back and allow things to naturally unfold. And thank you for protecting me. I think there's a lot that is about to unfold this month. And it could look scary depending on where you are at geographically. But the key is to stay grounded and not give in to the doom and gloom. There were a couple of uh, YouTube channels that I was looking at for information uh, on La Palma and other things and so much of it was like fear fear based and I had to, I had to actually unsubscribe I thought you know what I I really don't need to to get into that fear yes we all know that there's a crack and a shelf on the island of La Palma if you didn't know it's out there a lot of people are talking about it and that Worst case scenario, if a landslide ever happened and that little section goes tumbling into this Atlantic Ocean, it could cause a tsunami. It could cause a mega tsunami. We don't know. Yes, that's out there. But does it help to breed into fear and to, and to get all... Does that really help? I think at this point, Humanity is just starting to understand that timelines are fluid and that, I believe I talked about this in my last week ahead video, we are in a place of converging timelines where things are really chaotic right now until it sorts itself out. And we could be going down this road or we could be going down this road and it's very blurry right now where we're at. And so there's a lot of possibilities. Yes, it could be possible that a mega tsunami comes. That could very well happen. A, a big earthquake could happen on the West Coast too. We've, I've been seeing that for a while in my, in my mind's eye, in my predictions. Possibly off the coast of Oregon and causing problems and havoc there. But we also need to realize that what we dwell on, we can create, we can manifest. And staying in a low vibration of fear and anxiety is only going to feed more fear and anxiety. We have to, we have to come to a place where we realize and consciously create what we want to see, not inadvertently create out of fear because we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> Conscious creation. We are creators. We are made in the image and likeness of our creator. We are therefore creators. And everything starts up here. And it's unfortunate that so much of our time is spent worrying rather than understanding. So our lesson this month is to focus on the good that we want to create and to hold fast to that in the midst of chaos and in the midst of things changing. There's, like I said, going to be a lot of change this month. There's also going to be lessons around getting the upper hand over emotions. 
So rather than letting emotions get away from us, the lesson is to not feed into fear, not get, not let things knock you off center, but to stay grounded and focused and stay grateful because there are pockets of joy despite what we see happening that might tell us otherwise. And if we can stay focused on that, we can hold that vibration and, and maybe bring that timeline into focus. For any of you that are interested, I did run across a really great article. I've had this for some time, but I got this off of Tom Kenyon's website. And uh, at the end here, he does give permission to uh, reproduce it as long as no changes are made. So not making any changes and I'm not charging for this. If you would like to have a copy of it, you can email me at intuitiveedgetarot at gmail.com and uh, I'll be happy to send you this link. Um, let me know if you'd like to receive it and I will send it to you. Uh, Tom Kenyon is, uh, I used to follow him a few years ago, a really interesting guy who did a lot of channeling but got a lot of good information and really kind of helped me understand the whole timeline concept. And so, um, anyway, if you're interested, let me know. I'll send this uh, article out to you. Okay, um, so this month, uh, we do have the getting the upper hand on the outcome, and it's all about emotions. So there's gonna be a lot of lessons around that, keeping in gratitude, keeping grounded, not getting off kilter, but knowing that you can get the upper hand over your own emotions and your own response and choosing responses wisely. There are gonna be some things playing out in some areas as I saw with regard to crackdowns and more heavy handedness. Um, but it's not going to be all over and it's not going to be the norm, okay? It's just going to be pockets. So, um, so we have work to do as a collective to help um, help our brothers and sisters um, in other areas that are being oppressed and that are being mistreated. Um, let's hold that high vibration for all of humanity and all of the planet. So I pulled three cards and just looking over the energies of the past, what we're doing now and what the future is coming up this month. And I've got the magician on the past. I think this past energy supports a lot of change that we're about to go through this month. That's what's happening with that magician. And this card in the middle, what we're going through now is getting the upper hand. So there's going to be quite a bit of struggle, especially depending on where you're at. Geographically, some areas are gonna struggle more than others, but we're heading into a time of introspection and reflection and learning hard lessons perhaps, but all from a place of getting the upper hand. So I do think that there's some big change coming. We'll see it and it's going to possibly cause a lot of self-reflection and reflection on a grander scale as well. So that's what I have for this month. Um, oh, and underneath here we have the Page of Swords reminding us to keep our thoughts clear of clutter and not let ourselves get sucked into negativity, into the drama of it, into the doom and gloom. So try to stay out of that as much as possible. Even if the world seems crazy, you don't have to participate if that's not what you want to create. So be conscious this month. That's our challenge, to be conscious about getting the upper hand and staying in that higher vibration so that we can help float this boat to better waters and not get sucked out to sea, okay? All right, um, I love you all. Hope you're all having a good month. And I'm gonna stop this here and I'm gonna work on a couple other things. Got my week ahead video coming up also. So stay tuned for that.
and hope you all are doing well. We'll catch you next time. Bye for now.